I'm going to talk to you about how we measure the wind as mariners, the Beaufort scale and knots. So as mariners, we like to keep things simple. We only use two ways of describing the wind, the plus verbal, but there's only two sets of numbers. Knots, which is nautical miles per hour, or Beaufort. The um, aeronautical navigators and scientists use meters per second on traveling on the road and with the land-based weather forecast they use kilometers per hour and in the uk and in the us they use miles per hour but we use none of those as mariners we stick to knots and beaufort and the beaufort scale was developed by a navin man uh, admiral sir francis beaufort in 1805 and it was originally based on qualitative descriptions on the wind at sea and nowadays it's associated with a range of knots. So for example, um, there are 13 points in the scale going from force zero to force 12. So we'll start at the bottom. Force zero has a wind speed of less than one knot, as you may guess. The wind description is calm and the sea is mirror-like. So now we've got some wind and the wind speed is one to three knots. It's described as light airs and we've got ripples with appearance of scale, no foam crests. Force two, wind speed four to six knots. It's just a light breeze. Sea state, small wavelets, crests beginning to break and scattered wave crafts. Now we're into a nice sailor's wind. So the wind speed is seven to ten knots. It's described as a gentle breeze. Large wavelets, crests beginning to break, scattered white caps. Now we're into more interesting winds from a sailor's point of view. So force four is 11 to 16 knots. It's described as a moderate breeze, small waves becoming longer with numerous wave caps. Force five, wind speed 17 to 21 knots. This is a fresh breeze with moderate waves taking longer to form, many white caps and some spray. A force six is 22 to 27 knots. This is a strong breeze with larger waves forming white caps everywhere and much spray. The force seven is 28 to 33 knots. It's a near gale and the sea heaps up. White, flo white foam uh, forms breaking waves beginning to, be, beginning to be blown in streaks. Now force six and seven means that the forecasters in Ireland will give us a small craft warning. In the UK, that's a strong wind warning, but it means the same thing. And in small boats, and by small boats, I mean anything less than a ship, we should really consider very carefully whether we should go to sea or not in anything above a 4.6. Now we're into gale force 8, 34 to 40 knots. And with moderately high waves of greater length, edges of crest begin to uh, break into spin thrift, foam is blown into well-defined streaks, and now a strong gale, 9, 41 to 47. High waves, the sea begins to roll, dense streaks of foam, spray begins to reduce visibility. And of course, this brings about a gale warning, which is usually an orange warning uh, from Met Aaron. And in the UK, it's also described as a gale warning from the UK Met Office. Beaufort Force 10, now we're into stormy weather. So technically anything above 48 knots is a storm. So 48 to 55 knots, the sea is pretty bad at this stage. Very high waves with overhanging crests. The sea takes on a white appearance with foam blown in dense streaks. Rolling is, is heavy and visibility is reduced. And Bo Beaufort Force 11 is 46 to 53 knots. This is a violent storm. Exceptionally high waves, completely covered uh, with long white patches of foam and it's breaking along the crests and um, this is not one to go out in and finally this indicates that we will get a storm warning or a red warning at sea beaufort force 12 this is hurricane force it's technically not a hurricane a hurricane uh, originates in the tropics very occasionally on our latitudes we can get force 12 but it's not technically a hurricane that really doesn't make a whole lot of difference if you're out there and uh, not one to go out in even on land it's 64 knots or more it, the air is filled with foam and spray the sea is completely white with driving spray visibility very seriously affected and i love the name of the sea state phenomenal in this circumstances 
So that's the Beaufort scale. There's a couple of easy ways of converting from Beaufort to knots. They're not perfect, but they're handy ready reckoners because no one ever remembers the uh, conversion. So let's have a look at those. So this is an approximate system conversion. It's just kind of rule of thumb. So when you're going from Beaufort to knots, you subtract one and multiply by five. So it's two steps. Let's have a look. It only works really between force two and force eight. So for example, if the wind is force four, subtract one gives me three, multiply by five, five threes, 15. So a force four is around 15 knots. Now it's actually 11 to 16 knots. So it gives me a ballpark, but no more than that. Use this with caution. Another example, a force seven, take away one gives me six. Multiply by five, five sixes is 30. And that's pretty good because force seven um, is in the range of 28 to 33 knots. So 30 is a good approximation. You can go the other way. Again, it's not perfect. So this time you divide by five and you add one. Works between four and 32 knots. Not perfect, it does. There are anomalies in it. So let's have a look at an example. So if you hear the wind is blowing nine knots, you want to know what that is in Beaufort. So nine divided by five, that's just slightly less than two. Don't worry about whether your maths is not great or not. It's just pretty obvious that um, nine divided by five is roughly two. Add one gives you three, and it is a force three. Likewise, 25 divided by five equals five plus one, is six and that's square in the middle of a four six so it works for that